Good morning, folks. We've got a bit of space weather and some huge science news to follow. It'll be two of the bigger stories of the year falling on one day. Let's do it, starting at spaceweathernews.com. And we find the last 24 hours on the sun, we're quiet. The coronal holes turning through are setting their enhanced plasma streams our way. The sunspots are departing on the north. But speaking of the north, over about two days, a plasma filament erupted, leading into yesterday morning. Dark whip action up there. It appears the Earth-facing component managed some ejecta southward enough that a glancing blow could be expected at Earth this weekend. Still, a very minor eruption. And this morning, we're quiet geomagnetically with a minor solar wind enhancement building up slowly from yesterday. New Zealand is rocking a bit this morning. A couple of these alerts came through, but they are likely to ultimately say these were just one quake at a whopping four seconds apart. Either way, luckily well offshore. Hopefully our post loot update is still fresh in your minds as we come to yet another stellar outburst missed while wow, they watched it. Had to go back and reanalyze the data, and we add another onto the ever-growing list of reasons to think we don't see it all out there just yet. I mean, if we're missing Nova events and stellar outbursts, are we really seeing everything there is to see at different scales? An excellent point in that realm will lead us into our first top story today. The description here of electromagnetic action of normal matter, utterly unseen and unaccounted for at the particle interaction level. Things like this reduce the amount of dark matter needed, not to mention they keep finding more of the plasma and dust that has these properties in all the places they expected to find dark matter, especially the galactic halos. And so we head out to a larger scale, the totality of the universe. Now folks, it might as well be etched in gold tablets of astronomy. Dark energy is 70% of the universe, dark matter is 25, and the last 5% is normal matter. It's something we have fought. The peer-reviewed literature has assaulted, and today, we get ready to say goodbye to the 70%. Not only are they now thinking dark energy might be completely made up, but they're replacing it with magnetism. Magnetism cannot be divorced from electricity in this universe, and so as dark energy gets ready to exit the room, they want to just put the magnetism in the dark matter particles. They're forgetting that current experiments actually disallow that possibility. It's outside of the bounded range, which means it's actually the normal matter with electromagnetic properties they can't see. Below the video, find a link to our plasma cosmology movie on this topic. And if Dr. Peratt doesn't make your brain explode around the 40 to 50 minute mark, I'll be amazed. But stow those Adidas a moment because we're at Uranus. Folks, we've seen all the planets changing and recently seen Pluto and Neptune have major shifts. Now it's time for Uranus. First, they are comparing Chandra photos from about 19 years ago to more recent ones and are finding an X-ray active Uranus. They blame the broad emission on ring scattered light, which is not correct, especially since we see similar signatures on Saturn and Jupiter, and those are ionospheric and aurorally related. And so we come from the faint broad emission to the more recent emission and they still want to blame the rings on scattering light. Yeah, into point returns? Okay. The new shots they show, what can only be described as flaring, Uranus is flaring, and the emission off to the side of the planet. That's likely to be Portia, its moon, either reflecting the energy from Uranus or excited in its own right. They make a casual mention of the aurora potentially playing a role and it's the great understatement of this work. It is the aurora, or rather the magnetic system of the planet interacting with energy from space. The change in X-ray activation of Uranus is indicative of a magnetic change at the planet, and it's another step in the march towards the entire solar system event. Uranus is flaring. We greatly appreciate your support. Everything about the ongoing disaster can be found at the playlist below the video. To learn how we're putting our money where our mouth is, check out ObserverRanch.com. Help us create a place for us to one day shake hands and learn how to deal with this all together. Or be a part of the ranch yourself. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.